Just very recently, I had talked about protein synthesis. I would like to give more details about it because evolutionists are not able to explain protein synthesis at all. Because for the synthesis of a protein, other proteins are required. And the existence of other proteins means that Allah creates the entire proteins at the same time within the cell and there is no time or no space for evolution. I would like to show you a video related with this protein synthesis. Below you may see that there is the DNA molecule and right above you can see the other components which are required for the synthesis. These are named as the transcription factors. There are some activators and co-activators involved in this process. During the transcription process, these function in order to accelerate the process. Here you can see that they get attached to the DNA molecule and these activators should be present along with the enzymes and all of these factors as well as the enzymes should be present for the DNA transcription. Again, these general transcription factors should be attached to the DNA molecule. And also there are some other activators which are involved in this process so that the protein synthesis could be started. The transcription factors get attached to one another. If we could rewind a little bit, I would like to show one more thing. You can see that there is a carboxyl group here. The red one is the polymerase 2 enzyme. And the yellow extension there is the carboxyl group. With the attachment of the phosphor there, the polymerase 2 enzyme gets activated. This means that that carboxyl group should definitely be present so that the enzyme is activated. As you can see here, the protein synthesis is taking place. There are many factors involved in this complex system. These are called the exonic ligase. These function for the repairing of the DNA, for the control of the RNA, and also for the destruction of any material. But during pro protein synthesis, this activity of this certain component should be prevented because that could result in the uh, devastation of certain nucleotides. We will see that a certain factor is again attached. You can see here that there are the spliceosome proteins which are also involved in the protein synthesis. In order for the messenger RNA to be formed in its full content, these parts which are not used are taken out by the spliceosomes. And that extracted part is named as the intron. This intron means that that information will not be required for the protein synthesis and that part is removed from the coding. And the messenger RNA is the red thread-like appearance on the video. And following this, the removal of the introns, you can see that there is a polytail established, which means that at the end of the messenger RNA, a certain enzyme is attached. By means of the attachment of this certain enzyme, only this way the messenger RNA is able to exit from the gates in the cell nucleus. And after going out from the cell nucleus, the messenger RNA will reach the ribosome. So we can see that there, this is another protein that is required in the protein synthesis. 
Again, you can see some other proteins are attached to the messenger RNA, and the messenger RNA reaches the cytoplasm and it starts traveling to the ribosome. If we can just rewind a little bit, you can see that there is another protein that is involved in this process. This is the LF4 protein, and all those proteins should be present within the surrounding in order for the protein synthesis to take place. And this is a minor ribosome which gets involved in the process after screening that related part on the messenger RNA. The start of the process is initiated and the other ribosome also starts being activated and there are really very detailed steps in this process. All things are acting through a certain consciousness and there, the peptide bonds are formed and protein synthesis is formed and amino acids get attached to one another through peptide bonds and no water should be existing in the environment otherwise no protein could have been formed and the evolutionists were claiming that water was present when the first protein molecules formed actually this is definitely contrary to any formation of a protein molecule because if water exists in the surrounding no protein molecules could be formed so in order for a protein synthesis to be carried out all the other proteins are required and definitely very conscious activities very conscious transfers should be carried out this means that all things are created by Allah and all these steps are carried out with the inspiration of Allah these are very important information I was talking about the 